Hi, Jadi here and I was playing another CTF, Dead Face CTF, one of the best CTFs I've played maybe in whole time. Very nice challenges from very beginner to more advanced. Made me study different things about mainframes, about protocol analysis and every uh, and a few more different areas. I wanted to show you a couple of easy ones to challenge you to play by yourself. You can see sometimes how it's easy to start. It has lots of areas, as you can see, traffic analysis, cryptography, and as you can see, our team is doing great, practically solving everything. Anyway, uh, on the forensics, there were three blood uh, bashes, four because they're releasing every five hours a new batch of questions. Blood Bash 1, Blood Bash 2, Blood Bash 3, I'm going to show you these three. As you know, when playing CTF, it's captured the flag, game hackers play on different areas on forensics, steganography, traffic analysis, cryptography, reverse engineering, and these kinds of stuff. It lets you study new areas, learn new things, challenge yourself, expand your knowledge, and everything. The first blood bash is kind of just a warm up. It says we've obtained access to a system maintained by Bloody Murray. There are five flag files that we need you to read and submit. Submit the content of flag1.txt. Super easy if we can find the file. It says okay, SSH here on port 22. So I will do SSH here. This is the user. And this is the password. So I'm connected. I will do lsltrh. It says you have to search for a file with flag one. Let's search. I can say find uh, I name flag one. It finds this file. So you can just cat it. See, sometimes questions are very easy. You don't practically need anything to solve them other than very, very, very basic capabilities like SSHing, basics of command line. So this is the flag. You find this flag, you just submit it here. You've already solved this, I know. Let's go for the second one. I will publish all of this after the competition is finished. This one says we've obtained access to a system maintained by Bloody Murray. We believe Bloody Murray stole a sensitive document and is storing it on her Linux machine. Search her system for any files relating to the Moon Financial. This is the sponsor of this competition. So we are looking for a new file. What I did was well, much easier. You can do a grep, search all the files, look inside, look for the flag. Look for word flag. It says, okay, there is a one file here. It's a hidden file, the moon info.txt, and this is the content. So you can just submit this and win the another 15 points. As you can see, sometimes it's very easy. What I'm showing you is go and play. You will learn a lot. The third one was not that easy, to be honest, and it took more time. Blood Bash 3. There is a flag on this system that we're having difficulty with. Unlike the previous flags, we can't seem to find a file with this flag in it. Perhaps the flag isn't stored in a traditional file. Same server. So we are looking for a new flag. And as you can see, this has 100 points. So much less solves. I've started by thinking, OK, this is not a traditional file. Maybe it is an open file. I mean, just a handler somewhere. LSOF is not installed on the system. This is kind of a clue that this is a stripped down system with not all the standard uh, utilities. I went to the proc. Here it's kind of a kernel memory keeping things about processes. Everything in Linux is file or a process. So I was thinking maybe I can find it here, all the processes will have a 
presentation here as a file and everything. Anyway, I was trying to grab here, then I tried to find files, locate files. I was doing whatever I could, even checking things like LSPCI, what cards are installed, LSUSB, what USB devices installed. See, it's very stripped down. We had the LS block, I think, but nothing fancy there, nothing useful there. And one point I tried to do a curl, curl was not there. I tried to do nmap, maybe it's living somewhere in some port. And then I tried netstat.na. This shows all the listening ports. You can see something is listening here on this port. There is one program which is listening on this port on the UDP. Very strange. The fun part was NC is, is available on the system. NC is a utility which helps you to make packets, to check ports and this kind of stuff. And on a very minimized system, when NC is installed, so it should be useful. And we know that we have an open port somewhere. This is called forensics. You log in, you search for things or in, all, in other questions, sometimes you have a dump of a whole memory of a computer and you have to start digging into the memory dump and see what was running, who was in the system and this kind of stuff. Anyway, we have NC and we have a UDP port. So NC UDP, please connect to one to this port. It waits for me to tell something. I say hi and it spits back the flag. This is the next flag we found. Now you may feel that it's easy, but it took maybe half an hour to dig everywhere in the system and find this. What I want to show you is it's easy to play. Go to the sites like CTF time, capture the flag time, enroll in the upcoming events and play. That would be great and you will le learn a lot of stuff. I was trying to solve this, no one ever got fired for Maybe I was trying to solve it for two hours, no hope, but I learned a lot about the mainframes, IBM systems, differences in the uh, file formats, in the representation of the ASCII table, VS IBM standards and lots of stuff. So this is an opportunity to help. We just solved this. Let me show you another one from the traffic analysis. Follow please in the next video, not to make this too long.